वेलकम एवरी वन सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ फेवरेट क्वेश्चन ऑफ माइन लिटरली वेरी फ्यू पीपल कूड एक्चुअली डू इट ओके एंड स्टिल दे गॉट रियली स्केर वैन यू एक्चुअली हैड दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड द वर्स्ट पार्ट अबाउट दिस प्रॉब्लम वॉज ऑल दी ऑप्शन वर गिवन इन प्रॉपर डेसिमल्स ओके जीरो पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट समथिंग 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 ओके सो योर आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू गिव यू ऑप्शन आई एम गोइंग टू डिरेक्टली शो यू हाउ टू डू दीज काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन now those of you who have already been following my channel for a long time you all know how to find square roots of perfect imperfect square okay in case you all don't know don't worry i'm going to explain this over here as well and in case you know then i request all of you all to take a pause at this video okay pause this and see if you can figure it out and then scroll towards the end and check whether you got the right answer in case you did not then you can obviously see the whole video again okay but this trust me if you remember how to take the square root of imperfect square then this problem can be literally done within a minute trust me within a minute yeah okay so now like i said we will write or we'll start with the method of taking the square root of imperfect squares what does the method say <coughs> sorry first is that you need to write you need to write the number closest in such a way that it is closest to a perfect square so this will be what 64 plus 1 why because 64 is square of 8 similarly 63 can be written as what 64 minus 1 okay next is what we have to remember the format which is what 1 plus minus x the whole raised to half we want this you have to remember this format Okay, so for that, what we'll do is we'll keep the no. Let me just remove the root, and we'll write this as nothing but what sixty four. I'll take it outside the bracket. Then only I'll get a one over here. Then I'll have plus one upon sixty four. Everything will be raised to half. Similarly, here also I will have sixty four one plus. Sorry, there will not be plus in this case. There is a minus one upon sixty four, the whole raised to half. Now, why did I do that? Because, like I said, this can be equal to one plus minus x upon two, or basically this x gets multiplied by one upon two. Okay. Now, those of you who don't remember the law of indices, a into b, the whole raised to m. When you have something like this, this index goes with each of the product. So it can be written as a raised to m into b raised to m, right? So going back here, I can write sixty four raised to half. Okay, then I have one plus, like I said. This x gets multiplied with the index that is one upon two, so I will get one upon sixty four multiplied by one upon two minus sixty four raised to half into one minus x gets multiplied one upon sixty four will get multiplied by one upon two. Okay, I hope this is very very clear to every one. Okay. now let's look at this this way i have uh let me write over you no i'll just shift it on this side so i have something like this 64 raised to half and then i have 1 plus 1 upon 2 into 64 okay then i have a minus sign so i'll have to put the other things in a bracket 64 raised to half then there's a bracket 1 minus 1 upon 2 into 64 Okay, I hope this is very very clear to every one. Okay, so next, what happens in this case is we'll do sixty four raised to half. That is something, but what root sixty four? That is what eight. Then you have one plus one upon two into sixty four. I'm just writing it as it is because eventually things are cancelling, so I don't need to multiply two into sixty four. That gets you one twenty eight. Okay, so your this. Is again sixty four raised to half. It will get you eight. There is a bracket inside. I will still write it in square brackets because otherwise things will get confusing. 
now please understand students lot of students make the mistake of solving this no you should not be doing this mistake it's very very easy if you multiply this 8 inside why because when you multiply this 8 with this one you just get an 8 and when you multiply 8 over here your 8 and the denominator things are cancelling and it's making you e making things very easy for you i have 8 plus 8 upon 2 into 64 then i have minus <coughs> sorry i'll continue with the brackets so i have 8 minus 8 upon 2 into 64 okay before i forget students if you really like the way i'm explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos and don't forget at the end i'm going to put up a diy question whose answers y'all can mention in the comment section and let me know okay so here like i said things are cancelling so eight ones are eight right 64 8 into 8 gets you 64 so here also things are cancelling so now i'm left with what 8 plus 1 upon 2 into 8 gets you 16 minus 8 i'm putting still things in bracket 1 upon 2 into 8 again gets you 16 okay so you have 8 plus 1 upon 16 there's a minus sign there's a bracket then you have minus 8 minus 1 upon 16 Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming a lot of people would have now figured out. So opening the brackets, you will have 8 plus 1 upon 16 minus 8 plus 1 upon 16. Okay, so now you see things have even become much more simpler. Your entire things have now cancelled and you're just left with what? 1 upon 16 plus 1 upon 16. Now since the denominators are same, I can add the indices. So I'll have for 2 upon 16 and both of these numbers are actually even so obviously two ones are and two eights are will get you 16 so now your entire answer changes to just one upon eight meaning your question which was root 65 minus root 63 is actually coming out to be just one upon eight and when you do the entire division you get an answer as nothing but 0 0.125 this is so much easier, right? All you had to do was to know the method of how to find square root of imperfect squares. Okay, now like I said, I'll put up a DIY. Please tell me what will be 26 root 26 minus root 24. Please let me know your answer in the comment section. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.